Hey everybody, happy smoke-filled Sunday to you. You know, looking at the app again this weekend, I see nothing but uh, stolen vehicles, attempted break-ins. It's getting ridiculous and uh, you have to do something to protect yourself. You may not be able to afford one of those uh, systems that are monitored and I understand that, but, but there is something you can do. We can spend as little as about $50 and give you something that's going to drive these people away, okay? So I'm going to do a really short video here on what that item might be. I don't sell this item. I don't send you to links that I have any affiliation with. These are things I find on Amazon that work. And, uh, you know, in this particular case, I've been using this piece for about two years. You'll see it in other videos as well. But I encourage you to try and do something, okay? So for in and around the $50 Canadian range, you get the following. You get an alarm horn. It's going to have a plug end on it. You can plug this anywhere on your property, in your house, outside, under cover. You don't want to get it wet, but you want to make sure that you have this somewhere where the thieves are going to hear this, okay? The next item you're going to get, you're going to get this motion detector piece. It's got an antenna on it. This is good for about 150 feet. So this has got a lot of coverage, pretty well from one end of your property to the other, if you have an average sized lot, okay? The other thing that comes with the, uh, with the system is a couple of door sensors. And basically they're a break apart unit, one part you mount on the door, one on the frame. It comes with an antenna as well, and it gives you the ability to uh, protect some doors, okay? So in this case, I think we're probably looking at uh, garages, sheds, that type of thing. But the one that uh, I really want to stress is this one, the motion detector. This is really versatile. You don't just put it in a shed or a garage. You can, you can double side tape this into the inside of your vehicle and have an additional alarm should somebody break in. Let's face it, car alarms, everybody hears them, everybody ignores them. This has got a complete different tone than you're used to hearing and it's loud and especially if you have this plugged in outside where, uh, where it's going to be the most effective, okay? The other thing that you get with it is two remote controls. They're this size, they're tiny, they come with a slip over cover and uh, they have an on and off and a panic button. Why do you want a panic button? You want a panic button because if you happen to see somebody in your property or in the back, you don't want to confront them. These people could be dangerous. Hit the panic button. This thing is outside. It's going to scare the living hell out of them, okay? So I'm going to show you how the, uh, how the siren works in a moment, and then we'll take it from there. So I've plugged the siren in. I've got my remote. I've got my motion sensor, okay? We're going to put the, uh, the siren into arm mode. And now anything that sets up motion detector off, it's pretty sensitive. You don't want to use this outside because trees and cats and dogs are going to set this off. You want this indoors, okay? This is really the way to use it. Once again, really simple. Arm. You hear the click. The motion detector goes off. Like I said, it's got a panic button that you can hit at any time. And it will... If you have this screaming outside, you're going to hear this for a block away. Take my word for it. This is as loud as it legally gets. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Other places to put this. You've got a garage. You've got your shed. You've got the inside of your RV. Put that in there, pointing at anything that they might come through, a door, a particular window, okay? This is really endless. You can, you can use this in a number of places. Uh, it runs on a battery. I use a 9-volt lithium battery. It's good for the wintertime. It won't degrade. And again, 150 feet of coverage. You can't really beat it. And the nice thing is you can add to this. For a basic $45, $50 range, you get one of these, two door sensors, uh, the horn, and the remote. You can buy a, a larger kit, which is $60 some dollars Canadian, which will give you two of these. Uh, I think four door sensors, two remotes. Uh, you can buy additional horns. Why is that important? You can put a horn in the garage. You can put a horn outside. They will all go off when this device goes off, okay? so. Again, I get it. There are monitored systems. Not everybody can afford them. And rest assured, unless you've got uh, some kind of a special deal, they're not coming out on the first trip anyway. It's, it's a matter of how many people's alarms go off in the course of a day. They can't afford to come and see you. You need to do something to, uh, to help yourself, okay? Hopefully, this gives you some information. If you buy the kit and you need help setting it up, call me. I'll come over and I'll do it for you and we'll learn together, all right? Have a good weekend. Hopefully, the smoke goes away. Stay safe. And we'll see you around the neighborhood. Take care.